Oh no, you're not going to talk about feelings, are you? I pretty much am going to talk about feelings. I'm just going to feel all over the place. I have something I want to say to you. Just so I get it right, I had to write it down. In 1993, a kind of miracle happened to me. And I tried to do it when we were together last week, but... Crunch and go lay down. Okay, here goes. In 1993, a kind of miracle happened to me. You happened to me. You invited me along on your weekend and I said yes. How can I explain what belonging to the Drummond Girls has meant in my life? I'm not sure I can, not fully. But August 2nd is National Friendship Day, a little known and long forgotten holiday, but which provides the perfect cover for me to give it a try. And on the surface of it, girls probably seems like a silly handle for a bunch of menopausal women with careers and mortgages, hiatal hernias and mammogram appointments. And on most days, I'm a mother telling my sons to mow the grass or load the dishwasher or unload the dishwasher, or, or on most days I'm a daughter, listening to my parents explain why they're selling the house I grew up in and moving to a condo. Then I hear my own voice saying, yes, I think that's a good idea. Let's do on most days I'm a wife who has discussions with her husband about politics and the environment, tire rotation schedules and winterizing our boat, and sometimes date night too. And I read the reviews and watch. At 53 years old, I'm an adult woman. Tough in some ways, who's worked hard for all of these relationships, plus all these things, this stuff. But when I'm with you, my best friends, my girls, I get to be a girl again, too. Not a lady or a gal or a chick, but a girl. And every bit of the aliveness I felt when I was 12 is right here right in front of me, pumping warm through my heart and sparking every cell in my body to life. Or, could be a hot flash. I don't think so though, because going to the island with you all these years has been like getting invited to the best slumber party ever. If slumber parties had Led Zeppelin and 50 year old women in flannel pajamas playing air guitar, being a drumming girl has been like staying out as late as you want, way past when the streetlights come on. But on a wilderness island with dirt roads and no electricity, in an SUV with four-wheel drive. And vodka. Remember? I'm imagining the looks on your faces now, and I bet you know. I'm about to say it, don't you? I love you. I'm going to say something else too. And here comes the hard part. Something all of us girls think about, but don't like to admit. The island has always felt so timeless, we've believed that we were timeless too. But the years have finally found us. Girls don't die, but then they do. Marriages are supposed to be forever, until they're not. Lives are supposed to get easier the older we get, except they don't. Girls can't possibly survive all that joy and heartache and loss with so much of it unknown. But then, we do. Because together, we are invincible. We know we're going to face whatever the second half of life has in store for us girls with our heads up, shoulders back, wearing a high-end underwire bra and driving our SUVs too fast for school. We'll arrive on the island, head for the Northwoods bar, park crooked and wherever we want and toast another year. We'll talk about our diets and then order the onion rings. We'll work on our posture, drop the words yoga class into a conversation just as we light up a cigarette. We'll drink more than we should, but less than we want to. We'll travel forever forward, 
gas pedal jammed to the floor with the coolers in the back filled to overflowing, our sciatic nerves burning, rotator cuffs throbbing, and our overbleached hair flying in the wind. Because we are girls. And whether we're 53 or 73 or 103, when we're together, we'll still be girls. We'll always be girls. And we will be invincible. Contacts, there's no disrespect. So when I bust my rhyme, you break your necks. We got five minutes for us to.